for the next test here. Let's write it down here. The test 3.2 D, okay, and this is under exercise 3.2, question B, mm, 6 and 7, so 6, 7, textbook, page mm, 52, 52, like this, so. We have now one, two, and three. Okay. Let me read the question for us. Given the linear equation 2x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0, write another linear equation in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so form is number one, intersecting lines, two parallel lines, three coincident lines. Okay, so let us just do the six first question number. B6 subheading one, that is for the intersecting line. So let us write a given equation here. A given equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0. So that is given on the question and we have to write another linear equation to pair with this so that those two will represent intersecting lines on the graph paper. Now one is the one, intersect, see, intersecting line. The lines intersect at one point. So this condition, so since if we know A1 by A2 is not equal to b1 by b2, that is the only condition, then you can go back to question, uh, then the jaw, then the, we'll just use the same language as the textbook question, the geometrical representation, geometrical representation of the pair of the pair means the two equations pair of the pair formed is the pair so formed if you like so formed is intersecting lines so the graph of the pair of equation will be intersecting lines only if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So that is the only condition. So because we know the condition for that is this. So therefore, the required, okay, the required, the another liquid, another means the other one, the linear, the required linear equation that should pair with this given one, having this condition, so they will intersect form intersecting lines is we have to be mindful of this condition now here a1 is 2 so by a2 let us say anything you can write now this answer is not going to be same for all of us okay so here mm, if i put here mm, by okay 3x let us say plus as long as a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 you can write any linear equation then 2 by 3, a1 by a2 will come here, a1, coefficients of x are a1 and a2, so 2 by 3 is a1 by a2, should not be equal to b1 by b2, so this is 3y, let us say, okay, then that is also correct, or you can put another one, 2y, only thing you have to make sure is a1 by a2 is 2 by 3, so b1 by b2 should not be same 2 by 3, there. Because it has to be unequal, not equal. So then the rest is up to you. You can write 8 also, 5 also, 7 also, whatever you like. You can put 2 also is equal to 0. Then see here, a1 by a2 is 
2 by 3, b1 by b2 is 3 by 2, and we know 2 by 3 is never equal to b1. Then uh, 3 by 2, 2 by 3 is not equal to 3 by 2. Then they will represent the intersecting lines. So this is your first answer. You can write many equations. So here 2, this is your answer. Then you can, someone else may write 2x or 5x, then 3y, you can put like that also, 2 by 5. And 3 by 3 is 1, so 2 by 5 not equal to 1 minus 2. This also correct, this also correct. That means you can write any equation which has this condition, a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. I hope you're getting right, so I'm giving this answer. Now next, number 2 is yes, 6, number 2, representing parallel lines. So. The condition for parallel line we have to use parallel lines so here the given equation is this one this will not change so parallel is this is intersecting line not parallel this is coincident lines parallel lines is this for this condition so we have to write that condition if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by C2, then only the geometrical representation. Okay, of the pairs of form is parallel lines. This time the condition is parallel lines. That's why we're taking this condition because parallel line is this one. Uh, not equal to, sorry, not equal to. A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2, not equal to C1 by C2. So we have to take that condition. Then the required equation will become like any equation. There can be so many which obey this. So A1 by A2, so 2 by, let us say, 3x. Okay, so 2 by, um, let me put 6x, let us say. Then here A1 by A2 will be. Coefficients of x are a1 and a2, 2 and 6 are, 2 is a1 by 6, so 2 trees are 6, 1 by 3. So we know equal to b1 by b2, so the next one, this is given, uh, <coughs> 9x, because b should be equal to b1 by b2, then b1 by b2 here, 3 and 9 are b1, 3 and b2, 9, so 3 by 9. And 1 by 3 and only if you put 9 here these two will match up now so 2 by 3 2 by 6 is 1 by 3 3 by 9 is 1 by 3 so a1 by a2 equal b1 by b2 but should not be equal to c1 by c2 so we can put any number we like minus 7 minus 5 2 whatever you like because or 3 or what or oh, we can just put 5, whatever, okay. 2 by 6 is 1 by 3. 3 by 9 here, b1 by b2 is 1 by 3. They are equal. But minus 8 by minus 5 is 8 by 5. So 1 by 3, a1 by a2, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, not equal to 8 by 5. That condition not equal to c1 by c2, then the lines will be parallel. I hope you got it right. The third one. The third one is representing coincident lines. Then write it down coincident lines. Up to here is the same given equation. Then coincident line is here. See here. Coincident line. So this is the condition we have to take this time. So this time it will be equal to, everything will be equal. A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2 equal to C1 by C2. Then the geometrical representation of the geometrical representation. Here I forgot to put the word of, even in the previous two and one you put it. Geometrical representation, representation of the pair so formed is coincident lines this time. This is the only change you put. Coincident lines. So, therefore, the required linear equation will be 
obeying this condition. So a1 by a2, we can read the same one, 2 by, this is 1 by 3, and 3 by 9 is a1 by a2 is 3 by 6. As you can see, coefficients of x are called a1 and a2. So 1 by 2, or oh, 2, 3, is 6. I think two trees are six. Yeah. Oh sorry. This is two. This is two x you can see. So two ones are two, two trees are six. So one by three. Then b1 by b2 should also be equal, you see? Equal. So three by nine. The three trees are nine. So one by three. That's correct. You can use the same one. Or you can put a new one also up to you, okay? So as long as this condition is fulfilled. So this third one also should be 1 by 3. So I put here, 8 threes are eight threes are 24. So if I put here 24, 8 threes are 24 means C1 by C2 will be minus 8 by minus 24. So minus minus cancel, 8 threes are 24. 8 ones are 8, 1 by 3. So only when it is like this, then A1 by A2, B1 by B2, C1 by C2 will be equal 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. I'm taking according to my convenience. Now this number you change means these things also will change. You can do that also. Okay, so this is on a such a question you answer. We'll do the next question seven in the next class, okay.